Hi, I'm Chelsea Stratton from Chelsea Stratton Designs, and today we're here in my mom's sewing studio again for the second week of the Be Mine Quilt Along. And today we are going to be making the half square triangle block, okay? And also, if you're new, just jumping in, that's totally fine. Billy has posted the first week's video on the YouTube. Uh, you will need the Be Mine pattern. We have it available in paper and PDF. You will be able to find that in the description. There will be a link to my shop. So you will need the pattern to join along in the quilt along. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started on our half square triangle block for the Be Mine Quilt Along. Uh, just like I said in last week's video, uh, this is kind of a skill building quilt. So this is kind of one of the next steps you would take in quilting after sewing with just squares uh, is the half square triangle method. And there's a couple of different ways to do this and I have a couple tips and tricks for you as well. So you will need to have all of your large background squares and all of your large print squares. And we will be on page three in your Be Mine pattern. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay the background square on top of the print side of uh, the other square. And you're gonna lay them together just like this. And you are going to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner and if you want to draw the lines you can that is one method that works great but I just want to bring up one of my favorite tips by Allison of Cluck Cluck Sew so she created this diagonal seam tape and what you do is you put this diagonal seam tape on your sewing machine and you are always going to, you won't have to draw lines uh, after you use this tape. And I use it for absolutely everything. It's wonderful. So if you've used this, awesome. If not, I definitely recommend it for sewing so that you don't have to draw lines. But if you want to draw lines, that's totally fine. So after you have drawn your lines and sewn, the two squares together, you are going to make sure you cut. And actually, I am going to need and we're going to lock this up and we're going to put it safely over here. And then you are going to have two half square triangles after you iron. And I will say uh, you're going to want to press towards the dark, but I want to also share another ruler I have that's really cool. And this particular ruler is designed by Brenda Henning. And it's really cool because what you do is you set this up on your triangle for trimming before you iron anything and you are going to trim on the triangle. And then when you go to iron your half square triangles, pressing towards the dark, the print square, uh, your block is going to be perfectly trimmed and you'll just need to cut your corners off right here of the block. So after that, you are going to have a big variety of different colors of half square triangles and it's really important that you get a really good variety of square of different colored squares in one block i think that that's really important and that's what's really great about the sincerely yours collection is it has so many varying shades in it to give you so many different options for your blocks so you have all of your different squares and now you're going to have all of your half square triangles. Now we're going to want to lay out our block. 
Now you're going to lay them out just like this. Now you're going to have four rows of four half square triangles in each row. Okay, so you're going to lay them out just like this. And you're going to sew the four half square triangles together. And after you have sewn them together, you are going to have rows just like this. Now I'm just showing you two of the rows for an example. You're going to have four rows and they're all going to be lined up like this. Now, just the same with last week's block, you are going to be pressing these in alternating directions. So I always take the first and third rows and I will press them in this direction and I'll take the even rows, the second and fourth rows, and I'll press them in this direction. That way, when you are sewing all of your four rows together, you don't have any issues when it comes to pressing. Okay, so once you have your four rows of four half square triangles in each row sewn together, you're gonna sew all your rows together until you have your half square triangle block. And I just wanna show the back again, showing how I alternated all of the pressing, all of the directions, and then uh, in the pattern, you'll be able to see after you have sewn all the rows together, you are going to press towards the top to complete your final block. And you will just need to make four half square triangle blocks for your Be Mine quilt. And I'm just really excited because if you, after you complete your four half square triangle blocks, that's half of the quilt is completed. You should have eight blocks by now, four patchwork blocks and four half square triangle blocks just like this. And so yeah, and we're just moving up on that skill level. This is just a simple, this is probably the next technique you would take after sewing with just squares. So congratulations on that. And I hope you enjoyed making this half square triangle block. I hope you enjoyed this video today, learning how to make the half square triangle blocks for the Be Mine quilt along. If you still need to find the pattern, it's linked in the description. So next week's video, week three of the Be Mine quilt along, we will be making the flying geese blocks and that will be posted on Wednesday, January 26th for you to be able to follow along. So we hope to see you back here next Wednesday for the Flying Geese video. Thanks so much for stopping by.